Hey, what's up, YouTube? Back with another unboxing. This one's kind of an odd one because it's two uh, interesting things, but I happened to get them at the same time, so I just wanted to do a uh, kind of double unboxing. This first one is a hat that I personally love. I actually have it in gray, and I liked it so much that I wanted it in black. Um, I'm a big hat guy. I wear hats all the time. They're just, I don't know, they're just easy to grab and go. Uh, not have to worry about fixing your hair and all that, so you'll probably see me in some of my upcoming videos wearing a lot of hats and, and definitely wearing this one. So this is the Burton Underhill hat, and it's kind of a, uh, oh, got smashed, kind of a flat bill style. Um, you know, everybody, hats are one of those things for guys especially that they just have to fit right. Um, and for me, I'm super picky about the fit of my hat. So typically if I find one that I like the fit of, I'll kind of just buy duplicates of that one in different colors. And that's the case with this one. Um, I think it's really good quality. It's not flex fit, but um, I do find it fits really well. And obviously it's got, it's a snapback, so it's got some good adjustments. But I just think the quality is really good. Um, the fit's really good. It's a flat bill, but not one of those like obnoxiously wide, weird kind of flat bill hats. Um, I don't know if I'm describing that very well, but... My dog's going to come get my wrapping if I put it up. Um, but yeah, it, it just, I don't know. This one just fits right. It fits really, really well. Um, really nice sewed on um, badge there. Good profile. Um, not really, I mean, I guess you'd call this kind of a low profile hat maybe. Um, sorry, my dog, my little wiener dog is going to be making lots of noises. Um but yeah, it's just a good hat, man. I, I like Burton. Uh, they make a lot of snowboarding kind of outdoor gear. That's kind of the type of stuff I gravitate towards. Actually, right now I'm wearing a uh, Viore hat. It's got a lot of gunk on it, but these are a really good hat. This is a flex fit with the snapback, which I kind of prefer. Um, but for not having flex fit, this one this one really fits really good. So look into it. I got it on Amazon for a really good price. I think this was 35 bucks. And guys, I'm going to try to start doing more of... Putting in the com or the not the comments the details of my videos the links to where you can buy the stuff that I'm um, showing. I know it's explaining it. And you can go look for Burton Underhill and that's the name of this hat and find it. But I think just having a link to click on is a lot easier. So yeah, cool hat. Um, okay, let's move on. And again, this is a completely. And sorry, the the box is huge, but I'm gonna try to scrap and in, jump into it real quick and pull it out. This one's not one of my typical videos. Oh, <laughs> I completely forgot. There is clothing in here. So, I forgot about this. I forgot this was coming, but it's here, so cool. We'll unbox it. This is an RVCA hoodie. Um, depending on when I'm posting this video, um, I talk about RVCA as a brand. Again, I like the skateboarding type brands. I like the outdoor gear type brands. It's just the style that I gravitate towards. It's not really that I'm into skateboarding. Um, I've done a lot of skiing and things like that, but other than that, I'm not really like into snowboarding per se. But I like their stuff. I like the outdoorsy kind of gear and look. And RVCA is a really good quality um, manufacturer of that type of stuff. And their clothing is awesome. This is like a faded, I think it would be a faded gray is what I would call it. Let's see, it's a size medium. And are there any, okay, here we go. Let's see what it says it's called. Color Elm, size medium. So Elm, I don't know, to me it looks like a faded gray. You know, I don't know if Elm trees are faded gray, but it looks kind of like it's been worn in, but in a nice way. Um, but man, it's cool looking. I really like it, really simple branding, just that RVCA branding. Um, but yeah, nice hoodie. I've been buying a lot of hoodies because this is what I wear throughout the winter. I'm just a hoodie guy. Give me a good hat and a good hoodie, a nice pair of jeans, and maybe some boots in the winter time, in the fall, and I'm 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 set. So yeah, cool. Looks like good quality, kind of that faded color, and uh, medium to I don't know. I would say medium weight, not heavyweight, but medium weight. Um, so yeah, very nice, very cool. I forgot about that. Okay, on to the next item. This one I'm really curious if anything's going to be broken. So I'm into whiskey and um, different types of whiskey. So scotch and bourbon and American whiskeys, single malts and 
blends and all that. And so that's where this comes in. I had been on the hunt for some new rocks glasses. Tumblers, I guess you could say. Okay. And this is a set of six, and I'll leave the, uh, I'll post in the, the details where to get these. These are from Amazon. Very affordable. A set of six of them, I think I paid $24. And I don't know if you can notice offhand. I specifically ordered these tumblers for their size. A lot of tumblers and rocks glasses that you get are huge. And they're just not comfortable. I know that sounds really weird and really snobby. I know I'm not snobby, but... When I drink whiskey, I usually use a Glencairn glass for scotch. And I don't know if you've seen them. They're kind of that kind of tulip looking, weird looking glass you put scotch in. And those hold six ounces. And then for comparison, I brought out this. This is more of a typical rocks glass that you would get. So you see right there, the size difference. This is, I believe, 12 ounces this out of the way so focus this is a normal size rocks glass i feel like maybe a little bit big maybe a little a little tall normally they're probably about like that i think this is like almost four inches tall and normally they're about three three quarters so it's a little bit tall but but you can see how big that is look at the difference so this when you fill it up you get this much whiskey typically for a nice pour that you're gonna relax to and it's just it's a tiny amount you got this big conking glass it's very cumbersome. I've got medium to large hands and it's just not as comfortable. So I wanted a rocks glass that I didn't have to use a Glencairn and I can use for more of like bourbon and stuff. And that's where this comes in. It's more of the size. So this holds, I believe, 7.5 ounces, which is an ounce and a half more than a Glencairn, but in a rocks glass look and feel. Because when I'm drinking bourbon, I kind of like the feel of a rocks glass. And sometimes I'll even put a, a big ice cube, you know, one of those square round type cubes in there. Um, and this will fit that and, you know, still your whiskey. And it's just a lot more comfortable. I don't know. But for whatever reason, these are kind of hard to find. Like, I searched for, like, two hours on Amazon one night when I was bored trying to find a smaller rocks glass. And, man, guys, this just nails it. Still looks really, really sharp. Real good looking. You know, kind of like you'd expect from a rocks glass. Um, you know, that's one thing I really liked about this one. Um, this one is from West Elm. And I really liked the kind of look and the gold rim, but it's just so big. I just, it, I don't know, I don't gravitate to it a lot because it's just a big honking cup. And especially if you're trying to, if you're trying to smell something, this big opening here, that's why the Glencairns have a really small opening, so it concentrates the nose. You don't get a lot in the smell, which is a big part of why I like to drink whiskey. But this has a lot smaller opening. You know, so it's kind of more like a Glencairn, but in a rocks glass. So anyways, I'll put the link in below. I can't even remember. It's an Asian company. You know, those cheap things on Amazon that are like off brands that have these really funky names. This is kind of what this is. But it came with six of them. Let's just look and see. I know this is turning into a long unboxing, but who cares if any of them are broken. And right offhand, it looks like they're all sealed up good. Yeah, no broken ones. And I got six for like... I think they were like $29 and then it was like a $5 coupon. So it ended up being a really good deal at like $24 for six rocks glasses. So yeah, pretty cool guys. If any of you are looking for a smaller rocks glass, like I said, this one's seven and a half ounces, I believe. So it's a good way to go. But anyways, kind of a weird unboxing guys. Let me know if you like this type of stuff. If you don't, um, I can do more of these weird unboxings of stuff that I just kind of like. Um, but yeah, please subscribe and uh, feel free to comment. I try to respond to those as fast as I can. And uh, as always, thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.